There we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to something a little bit different. I thought, since today is the 15th birthday of Google Maps, hence the reason why the new logo is on the thumbnail already, I thought we would do something quite fun. We're going to compare the satellite imagery of Google Maps and Bing Maps. And we're going to see who has the most updated satellite imagery. So, should be pretty good. I'm excited. And Gary, no, I wouldn't say I'm getting into tech news. I've, I've actually done a few streams over Google Earth where we would just kind of go to random places, look at old satellite imagery. I just love this type of stuff. I love just looking at maps and all that good stuff. So, we're going to check things out and see who has the most updated satellite imagery. But hello, Gary, Alvin, Callum, Toby. Thanks for all joining. Very much appreciate it. And let's just dive on into it. So I'm trying to think of new things that are being built. And if you guys have suggestions of things that I should look at specifically, like, oh, there's this being built in this city and whatever, I'd like to hear your suggestions because I'd like to have a wide selection of items. So I'm trying to think of new stadiums that are being built in the area. And I know there's two. There's one in California and there's one in Las Vegas. One for the Oakland or the Las Vegas Raiders. So let's go to that first. And then if you guys have any suggestions to look at things, we can definitely do that. And I can already tell that Google Maps does not have the new stadium because the Las Vegas Raiders are going to be playing right here. Okay. Simple. To the point. And what about Bing Maps? Nope. It is empty as well. Interesting. So both have failed already. So nobody gets a point. <laughs> That's actually surprising because they've been building that for, goodness, well over a year now. I'm surprised neither of them have it, actually. All right. Well, that's pretty simple. Oh, wait. But this is more up to date, it looks like, because they have solar panels on the Mandolin Bay Convention Center. And here they don't. Oh, there's actually more built over here, too. All right, hang on. We got one point for Google Maps. I need to get a tally set up here. Hang on. All right. Uh, how do I make a new note on the iPad? How does this work? There it is. All right. So one to Google Maps. Google. One tally. Bing is at zero. All right. So that's the first stadium. Let's head over to California and look at the SoFi Stadium, which is somewhere over here. Oh, there it is right there. It's actually pretty easy to see. All right, so this one's actually in the imagery. All right. And let's go on over to here. And where the crap is it? Oh, there it is right there. Ooh, this is more complete on Bing. Would you look at that? Well, we can already tally up a point for Bing. My goodness, look at that. This is actually a lot further into the process of building. This section's missing on Google Maps. This section's missing. This doesn't even have a roof yet over here. My goodness. All right, all right. Bing's come into play. A lot more, I'm assuming, are like support structures here. I don't even know what's being built there, but all right. So that's another, that's a point for Bing. We're all tied up immediately. Very interesting. I'm kind of surprised by that. There's not really anything else to look at. So, all right. Bing has a better picture of SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. Okay. Um, let's see. Detroit has Little Caesars Arena. You're right, Garrett. How did I not think of that? I would hope both of them have it by now, because it's already been a little bit since they've been using it. Even though nobody really knows since the Red Wings aren't doing too good, so... <laughs> there it is here. Oh, it's still being built on Google Maps. Okay. All right, Bing. This is your chance to take the lead right here. 
Oh, no. What happened, Bing? It's not even here. They haven't even destroyed anything yet. Ooh. Unbelievable. That's kind of disappointing. Not even close. This is before Little Caesars Arena was even <laughs> started. Oh, my goodness. So, Detroit, I'm assuming, is probably very well behind then. Because, obviously, Joe Louis Arena will still be there for a little bit. My, how old is this image, then? Because, my goodness, Little Caesars started being built in 2008? No, 17. Maybe even a bit of 16. So, this is old imagery. It has the thing on it, though. One thing I have noticed about Bing, too, is a lot of information is outdated. There's a lot of places that have closed in a lot of different areas that are still represented as open. So that's another thing that Bing is a little bit behind on. But all right. All right, see you later, Count. All right. Seattle is building a new stadium. Are they, though? I thought they were, I thought they were just renovating a key arena. Because I don't think they're building a whole separate stadium now. I think they're just renovating a uh, key arena, which is right over here. Somewhere. I walked by it when I was at PAX. How can I not find it? Because <laughs> it's by the Space Needle. Oh, there it is right there. The big box. There it is. Which, by the way, looks like they've heard... Oh, of course, I would hope that Microsoft would update Seattle's imagery better than Google Maps. Come on. Because you can already tell they're renovating it here. And here it looks just normal. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can see the differences in uh, what's going on. They ripped off everything. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where they're going to be playing with the new NHL team. All right, that's a win for Bing, which is not surprising. I would have been kind of disappointed if Microsoft was behind on their own city. All right, so tied again, two, two to two. It's very interesting. I wonder, I'd like to go to Google and Microsoft and go to these departments who update the satellite imagery and just ask them, it's like, what is the process of updating it? Like, why are some places really old imagery, but other things are newer? And, you know, it's just, it's very interesting to me how any of this stuff works. This is kind of a cool screensaver right here. Just taking a picture of the, uh, the dock here, the harbor. That looks really good. Ooh, this is another good test, too, is... Oh, it doesn't really say T-Mobile Arena on the top. Because looking at name changes is a good sign of looking at how old the imagery is, too, in the area. There's another thing that I know Bing Maps is... I've gone to Rapid City a few times, and there's a new Taco Bell that was built. Not really new anymore, but it's right here. But Google Maps does not have it. So this is going to bring Bing to the lead at 3-2. to two. So, I mean, so far, it's pretty back and forth. It's not like a definitive winner just yet. Because it's just like some... Oh, wait. I lied. This is more update updated than Bing. That's weird. This was not here when I did a test thing of this. All right. Well, never mind. So that's a point for Google. I'm sorry, Bing. You are now... Losing three to two. <laughs> huh. Yeah, this was this wasn't here and it was the old McDonald's over here. Huh. Okay. Why is Dead Gamer welcome to the stream? Would you could join? St. Louis Cardinals. Did they change the name? It's not Bush Stadium. Or Bush Field or I forgot. <laughs> uh let's see. Oh there it is. Yeah, Bush Stadium. Did they do some upgrades or something? I guess we're about to find out. Uh, 
Um, it's looking pretty similar. Although, this looks like it's being worked on, doesn't it? And this looks completed. So... It might just be wet, though. Maybe they were just cleaning it? I don't really know. I don't know much about Cardinal Stadium, so... Oh, shoot. Hang on. I see why you made me come over here. Never mind. There's like a whole thing being built over. <laughs> All right, well, that's Google again. Uh-oh. Four to two now. It's starting to pull away. Wow, they got like a whole thing going on. I kind of like it. Because they're live by lows. Oh, what the heck? That actually looks pretty cool. Nice. Nice. That'll look pretty cool to see in the background of uh, Bush Stadium. I didn't know they were doing that whole thing there. All right. What is this? Enterprise Center. Oh, that's St. Louis Blues area there. Well, all right. Come on, Bing. You're starting to lose ground here. Uh, Wise Dead, we were at Little Caesars. It doesn't even exist yet on Bing Maps, so... That was a huge loss for that. I guess we'll kind of just keep the the arena thing going on here, huh? Let's go to Chicago. Because isn't... Isn't What's-Its-Face Wrigley Field having some upgrades being done around? Oh, wow. There was a concert going on here. That looks cool. Look at that. Whoa, what is Gallagher? Is that a thing on Big Maps? <laughs> That's quite the advertisement, that's for sure. Uh... Hmm. Where the heck am I? Oh, it's right below that park. There it is. Oh, my. Uh-oh. Remember how I said that things weren't, you know going crazy now they are it's not even close to what it is anymore because this is just a random parking lot now it's like a little thing going on there this whole little strip mall what does that look like oh this is what it used to look like that's kind of cool but now it doesn't look like it anymore all right let's see what street view on bing maps looks like we haven't done that yet Yeah, about the same. I kind of wish it would show, because I know somewhere on Google Maps, it, oh, May 2014. It doesn't seem like Bing shows you when this was taken. But, I mean, it's pretty similar. Because it almost looks like it has the same graphic here. So they must have been, oh, wait, hang on. Oh. Never mind, they did update it. Oh, see, this looks this looks stupid now. I don't like this. It was so much cooler when... Oh, actually, I'll just use Bing's imagery. If I can... Oh, God, you can calm down, Bing. Look at this. You had some baseball things to enter then. I mean, look at that. Of course, it was the old style of McDonald's, but still, it looks better than whatever this is. Boo. I don't like it. I don't like that at all. <laughs> so, again, I don't think Bing really focuses too much on Street View, though. Because I've never, I've I've only seen the Google Street View car. But Bing's, I've never seen. So, I mean, it was close, but now it's not anymore. Oh, look at that. They had, like, a Cub store out here. Is that gone, too? Now it's a restaurant and bar. See, this just... This looks boring to me. I get it's modern, I get it's whatever, but I just... I find this a lot more interesting, because it just fits with Wrigley Field. This doesn't fit with Wrigley Field at all, and I'm upset that we looked at it, so we're gonna move on from that. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna move on from it, because it just looks stupid. I'm upset now. And now, let's head 
Is it south or north to the worst named stadium ever? Home of the Chicago White Sox. Where is it? Is it closer to Chicago? <sighs> I guess I'll have to type it in. Guaranteed rate field. What an absolutely horrendous... Oh, it was right there. Uh, you can already tell it's outdated because you got U.S. Cellular Field, which U.S. Cellular U.S. Cellular <laughs> doesn't exist anymore. I don't think. I think they were bought out by Sprint or something. But I mean, since we we probably shouldn't stay in a city because if it's outdated north of it, it's going to be outdated everywhere else. How come I can't see it from just here? I mean, it's not that hard. It's a huge parking lot. Oh, I'm way south. That's why I'm not seeing it. There it is, right there. And again, it's been updated. Uh, doesn't seem like much has changed around the stadium, though. It looks pretty similar. You got the railroads over there. Parking lots are the same. So it seems like that was just a name change. Yep. If it wasn't for the name, I really wouldn't notice a difference. That's kind of cool, that baseball diamond up there. Huh. Still dumbest name in sports, right there. Guaranteed rate field. Well, then again, Denver Broncos' new, like, retirement insurance or whatever name. That's pretty stupid, too. All right. Anybody else have some recommendations? You should see it from the arch. Oh, I bet that looks really good. Why is Bing so much more dark? I don't know. It is. It seems like it is kind of more difficult to see through Bing, especially if you're looking at a city. It just seems like there's a bunch of garbage there. Let's let's get a comparison. Hang on. Where am I? I'm north of Chicago on I-90. So we're sitting about right here. So let's zoom in to right where Jung Bu Market is. I need to see what this place looks like. Hang on. Look at this. I don't know what half these products are. Oh, that's ginger, right? I know that. All right, that was a very nice visit to Jungbu. <laughs> Anyways, getting a bit sidetracked here. So we're zoomed in about here, right? Yeah, we're looking about, oh, this is about similar. Yeah, I don't know, it almost looks like they took the imagery when it was cloudy. Which is odd, because I'm assuming Google Maps is pictured on the sunniest days possible to make it look, you know, not so grayish and dark. This looks like a cool shopping It looks like a pain to drive around, though, but it's kind of cool having the river going through here to go to Costco. Ooh, look at the... Br Ooh, would you look at that? And now, what does it look like? On here. Oh my goodness, it wasn't even red. Oh wait. Are we looking the same? Oh no, there it is. <laughs> I was about to say, they destroyed that? That looks awesome. Looks like it's still in use too. I must say, it looks better in red than it does in white. Oh, they were actually here on a cloudy day. Oh, what is that? Fox Motors? That's a dealership? Holy crap, why do they have such a big building? Those are some old ambulances too. What in the world's going on in Chicago? We should do GeoGuessr. That's what I just thought of when I was looking. <laughs> it's like, where are we? Huh, that's interesting. I wonder why they painted it red after that. I love looking at that stuff. Just It's always fascinating just to see how th something's changed in a certain area. All right, so we know Chicago is outdated on Google Maps, or uh, Bing. I need to get out of Street View. Street View? No, now I'm back to Jung Boo. No. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now it's really dark on Google Maps. Hang on. There we go. We're back. We're back. I don't know why it spawned me there, but okay. Let's see. 
Over a year ago, passed by a Google Maps car. Nice, Gary. Uh, there might be some NASCAR stadiums. I mean, we can. I mean, if there, we can go to Daytona. I don't really know much about NASCAR, so I mean, we can look if there's any differences. I'm all about it. I don't know where Daytona. I mean, it's in Florida, but we're just gonna go ahead. Daytona Beach. Shouldn't be hard to find a NASCAR oval track, right? Oh yeah, there it is, right there. It's by the airport. I never knew that. That's pretty cool. So if you're not in NASCAR, you can just go there and then watch airplanes come and go. I like it. The imagery is very blurry here, though. I don't know why that is. Let me get rid of all this. That's awesome. That's my kind of track. Right on the airport. Alright, what do we got going on here at Lake Lloyd? See, I mean, I'm sure you guys that are into this can notice, like, oh, this track has changed a little bit. I really don't notice much of a difference. Bing's imagery here is a lot better. I don't know why. Let me let me refresh it. Something's... There we go. Oh, no. It gets blurry when you zoom out here. I don't know why. Well, we can see if there's anything different with this store. It looks like the parking lot's been redone, but other than that... I'm not really noticing a difference around here. What is that? Because it's empty here, too, on Bing Map. Okay. Exploration time. What do we have going on? I can't really see it because this thing... This has been closed for a while, apparently. See, this is another reason why I love just... Okay, I'm stuck in this hotel parking lot. This is another reason why I love this, because then you can just look back in time, see what was going on here. It almost looks like it was a restaurant, maybe? Oh, it was a rental place? Oh, that's less exciting than I thought it was going to be. It was budget. And I guess it is? I'm confused, because there's nothing there on the map. For both Bing or <laughs> Google Maps, yet that one imagery has it. But there's nothing... Hang on. Budget. Oh, they move... I don't know. Maybe it's just not listed anymore since you don't really need to go there. You just have to go to the airport. Very confusing. All right. We're going to move on from that because I have no idea what's going on there. Some weird things going on with old imagery being next to newer imagery here. Oh, there's actually some work being done here. Actually, ooh. This might actually be newer. Unless whatever they built is already here. Can't really tell. Let's just go into street view. Toyota, let's go. Well, they were just adding that. So that must be what we're seeing here. Yeah, that's definitely what we're seeing. But I don't know if it's on Google Maps. Because there's the Toyota stuff already there. It's kind of a mix of... I'm assuming this is the latest imagery and then this is old. Kind of sloppy work there, Google. Come on now. <laughs> a Cracker Barrel. Those things are great. If you've never had Cracker Barrel before, that's where it's at. Do they have the seats out there? Nice. Is there a Coca-Cola sign? There's always a Coca-Cola sign somewhere. This one doesn't have it. Not worth going to then. There's a lot of crap around the stadium. My goodness. Vluissa Square? What is that? Oh. Oh, a little bit of flooding there. And a Home Depot. Okay, good. <laughs> is that a little track? What is this? That's awesome. Can you just drive in there? Oh, no, it's gated. What do, what do people use that for? Can people, like, bring their off-road vehicles and kind of mess around there while they're camped out? That'd be kind of cool. I'm getting way too sidetracked with this one state. Okay, we're going to move on. <laughs> we're going to move on here. Well, since the Super Bowl was just here, let's check out Hard Rock Cafe or Hard Rock Stadium or 
whatever it's called. I don't know anything about Miami. I'm assuming it's around here. Hard Rock Stadium. Oh, it's right there. It's always on the screen when I type it in. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, Miami, come here. Oh, I passed it already. There it is. All right. I'm going to find it here. God dang it. Oh, there it is. Found it. Um, because I know they did the renovation a little bit ago, and it looks like they were doing it here. And it looks like they were doing it here. Ooh, this is kind of a toss-up. Who has... That's not... Oh, you know what? I think this is the stands that they put in closer for, like, tennis or something. So I don't think this was during renovations. Yeah, because you can see the original seating there. So this is just something else that was going on. So never mind. Oh, shoot. What the heck is going on? Why do they have so many tennis courts? What in the world? Okay. What is that? Oh, it's their little logo. Do you actually see that when you're driving by? Oh, there it is. What's the point of that? I think that's stupid, if you ask me. Oh, wait, is that a helipad? Oh, it's a helipad. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's the windsock and all that, because I saw the lights here. Okay, not as... not. Okay, it's, it's kind of cool. I'll give it that. I thought it was just some random thing so you could see it from the sky. Okay. I'll give them points for that. Thought it was stupid at first, but... Cirque du Soleil, what does that have to be? What is this? I don't see anything there. <laughs> is that really where they do, like, a permanent set? Ooh. These houses don't look too good, being right next to the stadium. Hey, look at that. State trooper. Oh, it's just police. Huh. I wonder what that's about. I guess that's where they always do it. It's kind of weird that they have their own... Looks pretty cool. I would never personally go to one of those shows, because that's not anything that I'm interested in. So I'd have to say it's pretty even here. There's not really anything I can definitively say, like, oh, this is different. Because everything looks exactly identical. You got the construction site up there. You have the tennis courts down here. So... Yeah, it's pretty similar. Is this a toll booth? Or is that just how you get into... It is a toll booth. Oh my god. Toll roads are terrible. <laughs> oh, this is a casino. How does it look like in there? Does it look cool? This looks boring already. It looks like a theater that turned into a casino. Not a fan of it. Looks pretty boring. Plants are already dying because they're just bored out of their minds being in this theater slash casino look. I mean, look at this. That doesn't look like a casino at all. That just looks stupid. It could even be a parking garage in the past. I wouldn't even know the difference. Boo. Alright, I've had enough of Miami. No wonder I've never visited. We're done. <laughs> uh. Let's go check out the trash can beating Astros, huh? Let's check that out. Where is it? There it is. Even though we're not going to be able to see too much since it's an enclosed stadium. That can open, but... We can see if there's any differences around there. I think we can probably wrap it up. How long have we been going for? Oh, 30 minutes already? Wow. Okay. All right. Unless you guys want me to continue. I mean, I can too. It's fine. All right. Uh, there it is. Oh, it's actually open on this one. There's construction going on here, and it's done there. Okay, well, that makes it easy. 
Bing, I'm trying to help you out here, but it's it's not working out. You're literally losing six to two right now. Come on now. Use the Azure software. You see, that's another reason why I want to know what in the world goes on with like how much of a process is it for these companies? Because you would think with the cloud and the Azure software for Microsoft, they could make it automated, right? They could make the servers and the cloud update the imagery much quicker than Google. At least that's what I would think. Because it's very interesting to me that we're starting to see Bing really get behind. Because you have this apartment complex, which we'll have to check this out. Okay. I don't know. What, is this? That's the stadium over here, right? I'm assuming so. E center field. That actually looks pretty cool. What is this? Is this, an, this better not be an abandoned building. Is this an abandoned building right next to the stadium? It's Texas Pardons and Paroles Division. Oh. Okay. Well, we don't have to go there anymore. <laughs> we can go back down here. This looks really cool, though. I like the the look of what's around the ballpark. It's not like Wrigley Field where they built that modern-looking crap that they built. Man, we're really lucky at finding police cars everywhere we spawn. It looks like they're renovating this church, which looks pretty cool. I like it. Not bad, not bad. All right. So Houston is Google's. Let's go over to Mercedes-Benz Stadium, I think. I don't know. There's so many Mercedes-Benz stadiums now. You got one in Atlanta. You got one here. The Superdome. There it is. The Smoothie King Center? Who plays there? Oh, the Hornets? Or whatever. I don't, I don't know much about basketball. That's a sport I just cannot get into. All right. Let's see. Come on, Bing. You need to start coming back or else this is just falling apart for you it's just falling apart all right first looks not seeing anything too crazy looking pretty similar it looks very gray on both just it looks very concretey and i don't like that and i'm not saying just the imagery i'm just saying what it looks you know just in general there's not a lot of green except for one row of trees here oh wait we got a couple trees here wow that looks great. What does it look like in person? Uh, that's not looking too good. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right, I guess. It's nothing. Nothing I really need to see personally, if I'm gonna be honest. Did that say dome field advantage? Disgusting. Game changer. Solid defender. Man, they really go all out on the advertising at the parking garage already. Benson Tower. It looks like it's been redone and I hate it. Has it been redone? Yeah, it looks the same there. It looks the same in 2000. Oh, wait, that logo's gone. What in the world? Is there a story behind that? Because that looks like it's been on an older building. That's why I was questioning if it was redone or something. Is that the jail? Oh no, it's an apartment complex. <laughs> it looks like a jail from here. What in the world? What is that? Where was I? Oh, it was, oh, that, oh, it's City Hall. Oh, close enough, I guess. All right. <laughs> there's, there's that. Again, uh, we need to. See, is there anything new built there at all? Because everywhere I look, it just looks the same. What is that? Oh, is that... It looks abandoned, whatever it is. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Why is that abandoned? Why is nobody on the Saints taking care of this? Put some money into it. Make it a museum. Oh, there's some new construction going on around it, though. Oh, wait, they are. Hang on. The Orleans Shoring. What kind of crap is that? Are they... Wait, are they moving it? Or getting ready to? So they are working on it. Good. Because that looks awesome. 
Hodges? I can't really... N-O-C-H-S, I guess it's it. The thing that worries me, though, it looks like they were working on it, and now they're not anymore. Oh, they moved it there. Interesting. But it doesn't list anything, so... Because from this imagery, it looks like it's been destroyed, and it looks like it's a landfill now, which kind of sucks, if I'm honest. Because this was taken in 2014. So they moved it there, I guess they had plans, and then it kind of just fell through, is what I'm guessing. Which is very annoying to me. Yeah, you can see there's graffiti on it. The windows are bro. Oh, yeah. Well, that answers that question. Huh. That really sucks. Look how nice it looked before the graffiti had made its way to it. I hate graffiti. I think it's the dumbest possible thing. And look at that. Look at it now. Hmm. Well, I wish I never saw that, because that's annoying. I love old buildings like that, so now just to see it... Because I can only imagine it looks even worse now than it did in that Street View picture just there. Because here it looks clean. This is this is probably when they just moved it there. That sucks. I'll need to look at what was going on with that building, because it's quite annoying to see it just... A few blocks away from the stadium. It's just... Whatever. Ugh. Yeah. Just because it's abandoned means... Oh, let's break the windows. Let's graffiti it. Let's do all that. That's the thing that sucks about Detroit, too. There's so many cool old buildings. Because I was there around 2012 or so. And it's just so crazy. Because when you leave the Renaissance Center... You know, if you look over here, it's like, oh, man, Detroit's looking great. And if you just go down a block, like, I don't know if it, it might have changed a little bit. I don't know. It's kind of the same thing. It's just, oh, well, no, it's better than it was. But if you would just go down the block right next to the Renaissance Center, you got abandoned buildings. You got just, it just sucks that you have all these nice old buildings and everything's. I, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked now. Now I'm just kind of looking around. Back to the thing that we were doing <laughs> it's just i get annoyed when i see that crap um let's see where else have we not gone to um i guess we can check out new york check out i still hate that they rebuilt um yankee stadium right across from where they built it you know, it's just, because now it's just where it used to be. And if you go over here, it's right there. I mean, I guess at least they kept the look of it, rather than just going for a whole new design. But it still sucks that it's new. You know, it's not the original one. I've never been to New York, but I flew by it. But again, at least they did kind of keep the same look. It still looks new. You know, you can't get that same style that was built when the original Yankee Stadium was built. But, you know, it's whatever. It's whatever. Let's just see if there's... Oh, actually, let's see if Yankee Stadium's even the new one on Big Maps since Little Caesars Arena wasn't even on there. That's up here, right? I'm surprised I found it that quick before. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, it's it's the new one. I was kind of hoping it was going to be the old one just for the fact that I could look at it. <laughs> but yeah, this is looking pretty up to date as well. They're building... Oh, that's right. We can check out the new Globe Life Park. Or Globe Life Field now, I think it's going to be called. Yeah, New York is looking pretty identical to Google Maps here. I'm not seeing any discrepancies. By the way, let's see. I'm sure Street View did drive through here when they were... 
Yeah, there it is right there. Oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, wait, they were destroying it here, weren't they? Looks like it. Yeah. It's pretty funny to see two Yankee stadiums here. I mean, it's just, it's so, like, I love the designs of old structures just because of the fact that they added things that you wouldn't really, I mean, why would these be added? Except just to make it look cool. You know, it's just, you don't get that anymore. I get they were trying to design the same thing, you know, whatever, but. Let's see what happened in 2000. Wow, they didn't, oh, my goodness, okay. I guess we won't see a progression. It just turns into... Oh, wait. Hang on. Was that... No, that's just the subway. Never mind. That's just so weird how it goes from... Stadium... To nothing. Oh, my. What in the world? <sighs> Parking looks fun to go to a Yankees game. <laughs> Oh, crap. All right. Pass on that. All right. Yeah, you're right. Let's go to Texas really quick. Check out... Globe? Where? It's Dallas, right? Arlington? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there it is. There's AT&T Stadium, Globe Life Park, and there's the new one. Wow, they're kind of behind on the stadium here. On Google Maps, let's see how... I'm going to guess it's going to be like Los Angeles and Bing is ahead of it. Let's see. Arlington. And... It's not even there. All right. I lied. All right. So there's another point for Google. I'm seeing a trend, everybody. Bing Maps is starting to lose substantially. The updated score is now 7 to 2 on <laughs> which is up to date. Yeah, it doesn't even exist here. Oh, there was a nice little park here before and they destroyed it. Hang on. I need to see some old in Look at that. Oh, that was that was pretty nice. Look at this. And now it's gone because of concrete. Ridiculous. How could they not save that? I much would prefer this and then updating that one over here. Because this is another stadium that looks really cool. It has a unique design to it. But on the plus side, at least it's not going to get destroyed. It's actually being used by the XFL for the Dallas Renegades. And then I think there's going to be a soccer team there too. So at least it's still being used. I still... How old? Hang on. I need to see this. Globe Life Park. How old is it? It opened in 1994. The thing that makes me laugh nowadays is, I mean, we have Fenway Park, we have Wrigley Field, we have all that stuff that's 100 plus years old, right? Or at least close to it, very old. And now we get to where we build stadiums in the 90s, and now all of a sudden, it's not good enough anymore. We need another new stadium, which this one was $191 million to build. It'd be $329 million today. And how much is the new one? I can only imagine. Do they already have it updated with the successor? Uh, Globe Life Field, there it is. How much is it? $1.1 billion. Now I'm hoping that all of a sudden that we're spending all this money on new stadiums, like over a billion dollars that could go to, I don't know, something more useful, that these stadiums that they're building currently are going to be lasting a whole lot longer than... 20 or so years. I mean, there's no reason why this stadium needed to be replaced anyways. I mean, this is one year older than I am. 
and yet they need the urge to build a brand new stadium right next to the old one. I just, I don't understand it to me personally. But, you know, anyways, I'm going off of the record here. All right, we're going to do one more. And I guess we can check out Boston. Let's, you know what, speaking of that, let's go to Fenway. I don't think things have changed much here at all, though, but it's worth a shot to see. And I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like the only reason why Wrigley Field and Fenway Park are still around is because the city doesn't have enough room to build something in the general area, unless they want to build further away. I feel like if Boston and Wrigley had more room, I don't think these stadiums would exist anymore. But as you can tell, it's a little bit cramped around where Fenway Park is. But all right, let's see here. Where am I? There we go. <laughs> Let's see what's going on at Fenway Park to end off this lovely little stream of me just rambling on about things I dislike about <laughs> the areas of the stadiums. It's a cool little apartment complex there. Uh, again, not really seeing much of a difference because, I mean, there's not been much changes made to the area here. Is that a cemetery here? Oh, it's a garden society? Oh, my bad. It looked like a cemetery from further up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's really nothing different. I'm trying to look for anything that's remotely changed. There's a field down here. Oh, that's already there. Looks like a cool park. But yeah, there's nothing different. At all. I don't know if I want to drive through here, though. I mean, oh my goodness. I need to look at this. But I like the old buildings. So it looks like this is probably the newest addition, or at least renovated, to Fenway Park. Caskin Flagon? I'm sorry, what? Voted number two baseball bar in America. Okay. I was expecting it to look cooler from the outside. You got that cool old baseball looking logo. And then you get, what is, are those blueberries in the beer or something? What kind of nonsense is that? Excuse me? What is this? Great, you took a picture of the menu. That's fantastic. Huh. I mean, it looks okay. I mean, there's nothing too crazy about it. From what I'm seeing. The mac and cheese looked good there. But it's just, it doesn't look cool inside. It just looks blah. I expected it to look... I mean, look, they must have renovated it. Because this looks stupid. It almost looks like the fake brick wallpaper that you can put up. This looks dumb. No, thank you. I don't know how they won number two, but I doubt they won that again after that look. Unbelievable. I just get more upset when... Oh, look. Kayu Kaiuku Japanese barbecue. Oh, look. A wall burgers. I've never been to one of these. It looks like a Wendy's burger. Does it not? <laughs> I mean... Come on, Mark. What is that? What is that green, hideous-looking nonsense that I'm seeing right there? Hang on. That looks... That doesn't even look appetizing. Is this the same place? Is this Wahlburgers? It is Wahlburgers. What is that? I need, to, I need to figure it out. Hang on. We're getting sidetracked again, but I need to figure out what in the world that green monstrosity is food menu yes small burgers small burgs oh my god 
I'm guessing they took it off the menu because it looked absolutely stupid. Flavor deliver flavors delivered fresh daily. Prices vary. A grilled fluff nada. Why? I don't. I hate everything that I just read there. All right, we're moving on. <laughs> we're moving on from Boston. Let's do one more. I feel like doing. Let's go to Philadelphia. Let's see the Eagles. Oh wait, before we do that. No, oh, no, we've been to New York, so we're gonna go to Philadelphia. Um, I forgot what their stadium's called. Actually, shouldn't be too far away from downtown. I would imagine. Right? Where is the football stadium? It's all a mask in here. Uh, I guess it's not in downtown then. Where do the Eagles play? Show me Bing Maps. Oh, it actually fine. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, Southeast Philadelphia or South Philadelphia East, South Philadelphia East. Okay, South Philadelphia, and then we go this way. Oh, there it is. Oh, they're right. Oh, I didn't realize they're right next to the Phillies Stadium as well. Nice. That'll be a nice little end off here for the stream. Oh, and. Uh, the Flyers play there, too. Wells Fargo Center. It's always cool when all stadiums are next to each other, just like in Detroit now with uh, Little Caesars, Comerica, and Ford Field. If only I, any of the teams would actually be worth a crap, that would be great. But here we are. Well, Bing, I'm sorry to end you off on a loss, but I have to because you lost again. Because whatever this is... Philadelphia Live. What is this? There was where were we before that had that whole thing that said live. Why don't they have a random pool? This is new. It doesn't look new. Is it another ugly? Lo oh, look at that. Well, that's what used to be there, which I can guarantee probably looks cooler than anything that they built. Man, look at that. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's the old Holiday Inn logo too. Nice, I love that logo. Ugh, and then they got rid of it. Why did they get rid of it and put that on there? No wonder they closed. Or is this what they look like now? I think it is. Is it still a Holiday Inn? It must be. So why does it look? Destroy unless they did destroy it now. Ooh, maybe. Hang on. Maybe I gave Bing or Google a point too early. Cause I don't know why this would be destroyed. Cause this looks old. It was destroyed. Ooh. So Bing is actually ahead of Google on this one. Because it's gone here. Oh wait, where am I looking? Yep. They destroyed that. It's now the Live Casino Hotel Philadelphia, which is opening in winter of 2020. Oh my goodness, Bing, you got a point. Holy crap, I could not believe it. What a turn of events. What an absolute turn of events to end off this. So, Google had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to Bing's three. So this is all gone now. Interesting. That's what they get for changing the logo. But alright everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this randomness. I always like looking at Google Maps and all that stuff. You know that, so... Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and all that good stuff. So with that being said, Google does have an advantage. There's some places where Google is actually behind Bing Maps, though, which is interesting. So it'll, I'm very interested to see what happens in the future if Bing really starts to update imagery in areas that's way behind quicker. 
We'll have to wait and see. But happy birthday to Google Maps, 15 years old, or 15 years young, and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I will talk to you guys next time. See ya.